Our last lesson in unit one dealing with place value is our lesson on rounding whole numbers, all right? And again, you've done rounding for multiple years now, but we're adding more digits to our numbers. We're adding more place values when it comes to rounding. So we're just taking what we already know and going a little bit further. So in the fourth grade lesson from Ready Math, you start off with, again, reviewing what you know about place value, and that place value chart is really important because it's going to tell you to round to a specific spot or specific place in our number. And you have to remember what place that is and the place value chart, remembering those names of each place value is important. All right, so in this example, it says our number is 23,416. We wanna round it to the nearest thousand. So one thing to do to just keep you familiar with what you need to do is to identify the place you want to round to. So rounding to the thousands place. Well, again, knowing my place value is important because I know that here is the thousands place. The if I'm counting from the ones place, it's the fourth digit over. So right here is our thousands place, and that's where we want to go. We want to round to that place value. And if you'll remember, we know where to go because we look to the number, the digit, or the place value that's to the right. So we're going to look at the 400 to help us determine where we're going to go in the thousands place. Now, one strategy is using a number line to help us visualize where it should go. So I put here, doesn't have to be anything fancy. I know that we're rounding to the thousands place. So I didn't need all these little hundreds and tens and ones numbered off. I'm really just worried about the thousands. So I put 23,000 over here, which is the number 23,416. That's the lowest it can go when we're rounding to the thousands place. So I can either round down to 23,000 or I can round up to 24,000. So I'm really only worried about the thousands place. Okay. Now, I did put a number in between because we know halfway in between 23,000 and 24,000 is 23,500. All right, I could count off. Here's the 23,100, 23,200, 300, 400, 23,500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 24,000. All right, we don't have to do all those things because really, again, we're only focusing on the thousands place. So we just want to put one number kind of in between the two. Now, here's my number, 23,000, okay, 23,416. Well, I know 416 is not going to be up to 500 yet. Again, knowing what we know about place value and what we've done comparing numbers, I know that the 400 is less than the 500. So I know that this number that I'm using is going to be somewhere over here, all right? And so when we talk about rounding, we know that if it's halfway, or more, it rounds up. And if we are less than halfway, we're going to round backwards down to that whole number below. So the number 23,416 would round down to 23,000 when we're talking about the thousands place. So again, you've been doing rounding for a while. The important thing is now as a fourth grader, we've added all these extra places. And so it can get a little trickier. And so using the same strategies you used before, picturing it on a number line is going to be helpful as you work throughout lesson four and wrapping up our place value unit in ready math.